Hey guys, welcome to Adelicious and I am Aditi. So there are times when we all end up with those overripe black bananas which no one wants to eat. Those would be perfect for my eggless whole wheat banana and walnut cake which is super delicious and very tender. All those who didn't want to eat those bananas will gobble this up in no time. Let's start making this delicious and easy cake. So for the cake we need two medium sized bananas. The more black the better. They would be sweeter and have more flavor. Peel the bananas and put them in a bowl and mash them up with the help of a fork. Add in the sugar to the banana. I'm using a mix of brown and white sugar, but you can use either white or brown or even use jaggery in the same quantity. Now add in the yogurt, the vegetable oil and the vanilla to the mixture. Using a whisk give everything a nice mix till you have a homogenous mixture. Now it's time to add the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients. So sift in the whole wheat flour along with the baking soda, the baking powder and salt. I'm also adding in some chopped walnuts to the cake. You can add pecans or almonds or even skip nuts completely if you want. Reserve some of the walnuts for the top. Using a spatula mix the batter just until no flour is visible. Don't over mix the batter as doing that can result in a tough cake. Now line a loaf tin with parchment paper and oil. If you don't have parchment paper apply some oil and dust it with flour to release easily. Transfer the batter into the mold. Tap the mold a few times and then add in the reserved chopped walnuts on top. Now bake this cake in a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for about 30 to 35 minutes. You will know the cake is done when a skewer inserted in the middle comes out clean. Let the cake cool in the pan for 10 minutes and then transfer it onto a wire rack and let it cool completely. Let me slice the cake to show you how soft and moist this cake is. I hope you give this recipe a try and if you do, don't forget to share a picture with me on my Instagram, the link to which is in the description box below. If you are not following me on Instagram, please do. I share a lot of small recipes and behind the scenes there. So do follow me on Instagram. Do leave me a comment as to how you found this video. I'll see you again in my next video. Until then, bye bye.